Greetings, everyone. I'm just taking a break from my writing because this thing is just burning on my brain. I want to talk about two things in here. I want to talk about what most Jamaicans refer to as bad mind. And I also want to talk about people who are liars. Oh my goodness. I'm allergic to these two types. I'm going to say this to you people. Regardless of what's going on in your life, no matter how low you find yourself, always be happy for other people. Hating other folks because of their blessings it's not a good thing because what it does is cancels your blessing. And also, try to tell the truth as often as you can. Because you see, when you're a liar, even when you're telling the truth, nobody's going to believe you. And there is going to come a time when you are telling the truth and people will ignore you. You know, like the story with the boy who cried wolf. There's a certain social media personality. She started to turn me off so much because I noticed she can't be happy for anybody else. And she will make up stories, even stories that are destructive to her own well-being and to her family, just to get attention. It's so awful. I'm not sure if it's because this person loves money so much, but to go out and tell those lies... And to disgrace yourself and your family in such a way is just beyond me. When we're happy for other persons, when we're genuinely, genuinely happy for other people, you know, you can't stop the blessings from flowing. But when you're so close-minded, oh my goodness, it's just not a good look. The lady came out and shared her story of her close-to-death experience. And then this other woman, trying to minimize the woman's situation, now says that her son is sick and in the hospital. Now we all know these are all possibilities these days. But what I want to tell people, don't lie on your elf. Okay? If you're going to lie on anything, lie on the state of your bank account. So you have more than you really do because what you'd be doing is manifesting that. Anything we say and we speak out is what we evoke, is what we, it's like incense, as I say before, you know, is incantation. People, sometimes I wish I could come out and share what I know to be true, not what someone tells me, but what I know in my experience. And a lot of us, are really going through some terrible time in our life because of the things that we're saying out of our mouth. But you see, jealousy or bad mind, as we call it, it is not a good thing. It is a horrible thing. That woman, she's so bad mind. And she's not just doing these topics just to gain attention. She literally is feeling jealousy of somebody who's sick. Can you be jealous of someone who's sick? Let me give a little story here. A friend of mine who used to be a Seventh-day Adventist said she didn't eat pork. And when she went to visit her friend who was going through some struggles like herself, and I'm sure those of you who are oldies, you hear the story before. When she, attend, when she went to visit her friend, her friend was cooking pork, something that she doesn't eat. And she said a kind of jealousy and envy came over her she almost resented her friend from making something that she did not eat. Now, that is bad mind if you could ever see one because you don't eat the thing, you don't want it, and yet you're angry or you're upset the other person has it. This woman, yes, she used her different strategies to get attention because of the kind of people that watch her, and I watch her sometimes too. But now that I know she's a liar, it's not funny anymore. It is not funny. The woman is going to use her tongue and destroy every one of her children. She lies so much. I didn't know she was a liar. It's not about being creative. It's about her being a liar. And also a person who is so bad mind. She doesn't want to see other persons thrive. You can celebrate other persons joy and happiness. 
She even steals some of Olivet's uh, tagline or storyline. The woman shared her true story of experiences in her childhood. She took them as her own. She is a liar. And I'm going to stop really watching her because it's disgusting. Listen, after you've made your way on social media and people know your name and you're out there, you really don't need to come with all the lies and, you know, all, all these negativity. It doesn't make you any better. And if you're doing it for the YouTube penny, it's not even worth it. It really isn't. People, live your lives to be as authentic as you possibly can be, to be as honest as you can be, and to be supportive of others. Be happy for the joy that other persons experience because it's only a matter of time that you're going to experience it too. I've been through so many things. I've been in a situation where everybody was doing better than me, even though I had more education than more than most of these people. They were doing better than me at some point in their life. And every time something great was happening for them, I celebrated these with these ones. I was happy for them. I was living in a shelter and people were buying homes. And I was jumping up and down and acting like it was my own because I know if it happened for them, it would happen for me one day. Because I'm happy for them, joy would come to me. Oh my goodness. So if you get anything from this video, I'm just going to say it to you. If you're feeling that little tinge of jealousy, which can happen to the best of us, just dismiss it. Empty it because it's not a nice feeling. If you're a good person, it's going to rise up in you in a way that make you feel ugly. Just be happy for other people and know that, you know, you're next in line. As long as you know you have the power within you to create any reality, then you don't have to be envious or jealous of anybody else. And you don't have to use you know, these methods to try to be seen. I don't understand. I really don't understand the thing about people loving attention because listen, people, it makes me nervous to be around a whole bunch of people and to be craving all that attention. I do not like that kind of thing. For people who are like that or, you know, extroverts, I get it to each his own, but be happy. That's my general message. Be happy for other people. Be happy for them. Just imagine if you don't have the ability to think that way, to say to yourself, what is happening to them is happening to you and don't want what they have. Just pray for what is right for you. Stay blessed, everyone.